Now we are going to talk another part of the brain which is not actually the division of brain but it is for understanding purpose we have a term known as brain stem. Now this brain stem has nothing to do with forebrain that part of the brain which lies on the upper part that is the cerebrum we consider it as forebrain the lobes various lobes of cerebrum. Now what we are concerned over here is the midbrain and the hindbrain. So some part of the midbrain in fact the complete midbrain and a part of hindbrain forms the brain stem. It looks like stem only, it is a slender branching like structure that connects the forebrain with the hindbrain basically. Now uh, through midbrain of course, again I am repeating it, it is the brain stem, stem like structure. Now stem is a connecting link between the roots and the leaves in plants, so is the brain stem that connects the cerebral cortex with the hindbrain through the midbrain. So midbrain is the part of brain stem primarily it is the midbrain which forms the brain stem and one part of hindbrain that is known as pons which pons veruli otherwise known as pons which forms the floor of the brain stem and is the connection between the cerebellum and the cerebrum of the forebrain. Please remember, I am repeating it again, that this part of hindbrain that is pons which is connected to the midbrain forms the brain stem and it is the floor of the brain stem that connects the cerebellum part of hindbrain to the cerebrum part of the forebrain. So we need to know that this is the area of brain between thalamus which is part of forebrain and the spinal cord. So that part basically which lies between these two areas that part of the brain would be known as brain stem. This comprises of the midbrain and part of a hindbrain. We do not consider cerebellum over here because it is uh, diffused out, it is not part of brain stem basically. Certain authors consider cerebellum and medulla oblongata as well as part of the brain stem. But what we are considering over here is for this understanding of midbrain part of the brain, we study it under the heading of the brain stem. So this midbrain has four lobes present inside it. These are known as corpora quadrigemina. Now if in case you do not remember anything you have to remember this thing quadri before that we have not come uh, to we have not encountered anything which is four in number so these four small lobes which are present in the midbrain they are known as corpora quadrigemina which are four small four structures which are present in the center part of the brain. They are such that they are divided into uh, two superior colically and two inferior colically. Now this has uh, these colically they have an important role in auditory and visual reception. So basically the visual reflexes would be controlled by superior colically and the auditory reflexes would be controlled by inferior colically. So this is the important part and role of midbrain in our reflexes. How it is important because these colically they are connected through neurons to the eye and the muscles of the head. So whenever we have to uh, focus something they are because they are connected to the eye and muscles of head if you have to see this way or this way. So the, the visual reflexes are controlled by this part of the brain which is midbrain. The superior colically of the corpora quadrigemina would be responsible for controlling the visual reflexes. Now apart from visual reflexes the inferior colically which are present along with these they are responsible for auditory reflexes. Again they would be connected to ear and the muscles of the head again. That means if we have to hear something we move our ear, ear like this or supposedly we are doing things like this we have to hear something we would try to adjust the head position as well that is controlled by the inferior colically present in the midbrain. Now uh, talking about uh, hindbrain these parts are uh, the part of hindbrain and this is not part of uh, brain stem though we study it in the division of the brain uh, individually. What we have to understand over here is pons, pons is the base of the brain stem. It is the floor of base stem basically and it is a connection. It is a proper connection of cerebrum 
to cerebellum. So these are the few things you have to remember. Brainstem is very very simple in understanding. All you have to remember is hind brain's important part that is pons and mid brain's important part. And just remembering the name and their functions would be enough for understanding mid brain because as such as it is not having main functions to carry out. Only the visual and auditory reflexes are to be controlled, taken control of. So this is all about brain stem.